<laughs> Top 8 anime that I guarantee you'll at least exude a ha ha. <laughs> Maybe even a giggle. Number 8, Full Metal Alchemist or the newer one, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Brotherhood was on top of my anime list website for almost eternity for this great story, but also through its simple comedy. Two brothers, Edward and Alphonse Alric. After a horrific alchemy experiment that goes horribly wrong, leaves Alphonse in an armor body, leaves Edward without a right arm and a left leg. The story is absolutely great. The comedy is more suited to like, you know, Jujutsu Kaisen when they do that funny little animation. That's, that's one for one ratio almost. Number seven, I would say One Piece, but more so the early stages. So like East Blue Saga, they really focused more on the comedy early on. Now they're more, it's very story heavy, heavy on the story. If you look up any funny clip of One Piece, I guarantee it'll be within the first half of the anime. But other than the jokes itself, the characters is quite comedic. You got funny looking characters, you got funny devil fruit powers. Obviously, if you don't know One Piece, Luffy, main character, they're pirates, he gets a crew. There's devil fruit that gives you powers, but you can't swim. Even though you're a pirate, you can't swim in the sea. Very counterintuitive. But there's lots of mysteries, so many mysteries that once you get one mystery, you get one little tiny reveal, you'll get like five more questions. Number six, Konosuba. God's blessing on this wonderful world. It's an isekai done right, which is very, very rare. Fantasy comedy, literally every character is funny. Even the little side characters that are like one minute on the screen. And while doing this video, I'm just gonna add in another anime, tied with number six because it reminded me, Konosuba, is Mashoko Tensai, Jobless Reincarnation. This one is probably actually very high up there. Isekai, but the character, the main character, is the most unique, most different MC ever. In his real life, he lived a pathetic life. Now being reborn in this new world, he's gonna seize his opportunity. He trains hard, studies hard, and becomes such a great mage, or whatever you wanna call it. He's just very strong, extremely smart. He pretty much leads the group. And this weird event happens, and he's basically isolated to his new family. Pretty good. But the main thing is he's recovering from dysfunction trying to stay monetized something dysfunction number five spy family first season not the first part of season two and then the second part of season two because i don't know what that little thing went at the end that was just that was just the most blandest ever spy family anya forger is a psychic child that can read minds she's adopted by lloyd which is top of the range undercover spy and the mother in quotation marks is your or like i like to say mommy your she's also unique she is an extremely good assassin under the name of thorn princess so these three anya your and lloyd make up this fake family and none of them know each other's special abilities or occupation number four one punch man but unfortunately i'm gonna have to say read the manga instead the pacing is so much better and and the manga is way in advance because you're gonna catch up like four years until you get anywhere close to the manga one punch man saitama is ridiculously strong purely on strength he doesn't have any powers in a world where everyone has powers and are heroes and surprisingly this very simple plot that he finishes everybody in one punch does not get stale you would think I thought, oh, I'm enjoying this, but it's going to get stale like 50 chapters in at the very most. No, it's still not stale. The comedic timing is perfect. You will see no other comedic timing get anywhere close to One Punch Man. Number three, Dr. Stone. After you get something different out there, if you want to learn about science, physics, whatever, technology, Dr. Stone is where it is at. Mysterious boom, everyone is fossilized, stoned, and they're trying to figure out what is behind it and start up civilization again. My favorite character is Jin, which is a mentalist. He just manipulates people. There's action, comedy, education, pretty much a little bit of everything. Now, number two, I'm gonna have to go for a weird one. The way of the house husband. This got stale very quick, but if you want to watch like one episode of something and drop it, 
this is that show. Tatsu was a high-ranking Yakuza member, and now he's basically a stay-at-home father. Though they don't have a child yet. I think that'll probably be in the future season. He just does the mundane stuff like he knows how to properly clean the floors using the special mixture. He's looking out for specials on the shopping, which is also basically One Punch Man, Saitama reference. And number one is obviously the reference king, Gintama. First little third of the Gintama was very niche down to Japanese specifically because I'm pretty sure once they referenced a paper company in Japan and then later on it became more ma mainstream if you want to say that with references my favorite episode is the references to Dragon Ball Z is the best episode ever but Gintama also has heavy epic stories that I feel is a bit out of place because it's like show me the funny and then oh no 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 all of a sudden it's serious now so I don't I think they could have balanced that a bit better but Gintama is very good it is clearly the king of comedy and references. It's pretty much, if I may say so, so, very controversially, it is the anime version of Family Guy. Boo, boo, I take that back. Gintama, very funny anime.